seem that I must it would seem that having the space bar pressed I was doing some typing over on the my time TV dot live part oh whoops wrong way around already <laughs> uh, do let friends know that I am live now yeah so the space bar obviously pauses the video so that's that's a learner um, it's also a reminder that because I was over doing the typing into the MyTimeTV.live, I have got this cross-posted into that page and my Hypnosis Plus with Ros page. And you need to be clicking the link that's above, if you, whoop, links above, if you want me to see your comment here <laughs> like this. Look, I know it's confusing. Hi, Scott. How are you? And Diane, how are you this morning? Um, I know it can be confusing and I'm trying to get it so that it's just in those other places to, you know, to let people know, yes, I'm here on my page live. Um, I suppose it's a bit of a growth tool to get yourself out there a bit. It's the tactic. It's the method to use, not tactic. Tactic sounds so clinical and, you know, planned. Well, it sort of is, but it isn't really. I'm just wanting people to see what I'm doing in the morning if it suits them to actually have some sort of guidance and like this with the cards so we've got the tarot this is not the tarot cards this is the liniment cards and oops I've got my uh, scroller going past so that's where to book for readings if you want detailed personalized readings and I'm going to drop that now because we're switching over to the card spread and just a reminder that the cards are as this spread I read them as a general reading for everyone from my own perspective because that it's me doing the reading it's my intuitive senses that are kicking in when I'm doing the reading in what the little story for today is going to be so uh, with that in mind I'll switch them around so I don't take questions that are wanting an individual card pull um, because I know that there's those shows that do that over on my time tv live at times because uh, I'll share one on a Tuesday I just realized I forgot my little light going in the background but that's all right it's very dull out the window this morning, so I've got an artificial light here. It's creating some shadows. Um, and, of course, the focus isn't coming in on the camera very well. It's the Gilded Breviary Liniment by Ciro Marchetti, expanded edition. See how dull that sort of looks? And with the light that I've got, see the, <laughs> the shadows? It's hard to do anything but that. So at least we can see them a little clear, more clearly than what it was to start with without the lights. So, yeah, at some point I might, I don't know, I'll do a professional one. Who knows? Uh, like lights, that is. <laughs> well, we've got the five card spread. It is the, oh, I'll do this one. So, yes, here we go. Hi, Kirsten. Oh, Kirsten. Good morning. So glad I got, <laughs> got you today. Yesterday was too late. Oh, dearie, dearie. Yeah, look, um, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? But one of the things with the technology we've got, it records it instantly as in it's there for a replay. So it's one of the great things we do have with what we've got. Um, Be Live TV, all of them do it. The StreamYard platform, Ecamm, I use all three. And sometimes even Restream, which is an interesting one. Anyway, we'll get on with our reading. So I've got here the 
work energy in, in the mask, where the mask is, is the work energy. The bridges are the home. Up at the top in the unexpected, we've got the letter. Down here in your role, it is the dice and we've got the snake in the outcome. Now, we've actually had that one in the outcome um, a couple of times, I think, from memory. And the mask has been showing up too. Uh, in this one, I'm feeling that there is uh, a bit of that deception type thing happening. But in, in this, be careful around what your work, work situation is. Uh, I'm not feeling it's about the backstabbing or that type of thing that sometimes feels like it's happening, you know, people whispering behind backs and, and uh, you know, things like that. Or if you're in the business world, you know, people trying to steal your ideas and things like that. Um, I think it's more about just putting on the right, uh, instead of the mask, it feels more like the hat, putting on the right hat for the role so that you're actually focused. And sometimes that can be a good trick to even use for the positives because you're actually then with the... Oh, my mind has just gone to the, the dress-ups we might have played when we were little kids, where you just dress up into being a queen or, you know, a doctor or something like a fireman or Superman, you know, all the little costumes and dress-ups that even for our own kids that we were able to give them to play with and that sort of thing. I didn't have those fancy costumes. It was just make it up from what you could find in the rag bag or mum's throwouts or something like that. Good morning, Sammy. And uh, with that, you'd, you'd feel into that play role. So I'm thinking and feeling that for this one, the, the, the masks are actually using that positive side of feeling into being that, that um, persona, that strength, that um, facet of what you're needing to be today. So it, it's being able to then remove that once that job's done, you know, that type of thing. So I'm feeling in, in many respects this is the positive side of what masks are. And, you know, you're getting, here's, we've got the light shining at the top. It really does bring that focus in to what is uh, your purpose for the day, okay? So that's one feeling around that. Um, here in the home space, we've actually got the Bridges card. And I'm just going to pop that up just to acknowledge here, Sammy. How are you this morning, Sammy? Um, yeah, so Scott, you're in business. You do wear many hats. Yep. So you'd be well practiced at putting on those different hats. And sometimes you do need to mask some things that you're in process of doing because of and uh, I will call it corporate espionage and that type of thing because uh, in many years ago we had something, uh, we had an incident uh, where we uh, discovered that there was other companies taking photos of our setup and the rest and, you know, it was a very creepy feeling. Um, it's being aware of that, wary of that and since it's next to the snake, just pointing that one out too. But my, my essence around what that is for today is actually using the positives and, and the different hats to have that focus. So good morning, Wendy. How are you? Good. Um, actually, I don't, don't know. Have I had, um, I'm just trying to recognise your little photo. Are you uh, Aussie or US? Just, um, it, it's lovely to know where you're from. <laughs> oh, good, thanks. That's great, Sammy. Yeah, you're good. Um, now, the bridges, being in the home space, I'm sort of feeling that they're probably, this is more to do with the re relationships that you have with those close to you throughout the day today. Uh, I'm just getting that sense of, look, uh, uh, many times there'd be some people uh, around me would say, look, build a bridge and get over it. And that's sort of what it feels like. It's feeling like sort your relationship out. There's an issue that, you know, has been bugging you. Build a bridge, get over it, sort it out, take that move, even if it's got to be you that takes the move. Don't wait for the other to, to come forward to make that step, take that step. Uh, I'm feeling it does need to be you personally. So if that's what, if this is the card that's pulling you towards seeing its message, that more than likely is around what that's going to be talking about. So um, there's Sammy's comment of feeling good. So that's great. Yeah. So Wendy, you are Aussie. Oh, good. Um, oh, not that any any other. We, look, we're all in this in a world together. Uh, good morning, Carol. I love those little flowers. They're flower emojis too, or whatever they're called. Yeah, they're emojis, aren't they? Yeah. 
little picky. <laughs> so, so, you know, I, I do feel that that's probably what that one is about. Um, as we move into that unexpected card, it is letter. So there's going to be some communication uh, throughout your day that probably is in the written form. Now, these days, it's not so much using the pen quill, but the quill pen and paper like it's depicted. Um, but it, it's, you know, there, there might be email or an SMS or a text or something, some form of written type of a message for you. So do take note when that pops in, it's meant to be a significant unexpected in your day. So hopefully that one will be a positive. I'm feeling that it probably is. Even if it's a confirmation of something that you're expecting to be in that legal sense, um, because it's got the little bit of the uh, seal there. For me, it's a reminder I've got some reporting to do and writing, uh, responding. So, you know, sometimes it is that literal as far as there's that there's my reminder today is the day four and etc. So um, what we have here in our our role is the role of the dice. I was trying to get that out. <laughs> and Kirsten, you're saying you better start building a bridge then. Look, it's uh, building the bridge. Look, just pick someone else's and step over it. No, look, it, it's it's what it is. There are times where our relationships really do need a little bit of work and, and it can only take throwing the rope across and doing a rope bridge if that's all you need for this instant, this moment. <laughs> doesn't have to be something that's uh, done like the old Roman bridges that last for centuries um, because, you know, it's it's different different bits and pieces sometimes create what we, are, what we are not expecting that will be that bridge uh, across, you know, even if it's just to offer to have, you know, a cup of coffee with someone and there's the bridge and you start talking and things sort out just by breaking the ice in something that's been tense for a long time. Or, uh, you know, there's many different instances I could name, but I do like to keep these within the 15 minutes so we'll keep moving on and uh, <laughs> and Scott you oh you have a hat to build one oh yes so you're in the building construction business <laughs> and you'd rather swing <laughs> oh I love that well uh, I mean as you can see it's a very deep chasm I wouldn't you're know, getting down there probably be all right but getting up the other side mm, don't know <laughs> me not nah. but look it will happen as it's meant to for you in your situation is what I'm saying so use what you have as the resource to build the bridge basically <laughs> for you Kirsten so um, it will get there so have that confidence and knowing um, and the dice roll the dice your role in that itself probably is just rolling the dice and picking the way to do it you know we do have choices the rolling the dice really does give us choices it gives a lot more choices than what say the uh, choices card itself actually does um, because that's that's a two choice this one really is it's a roll of the dice and you've got many choices so take the chance um, take the risk put yourself in that situation of taking that breath and state and the leap of faith in moving out too there you go build the bridge cross it over cross over it, <laughs> that type of thing. <laughs> Bring her arm forward. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, gee, the years ago that I would have used floaties, goodness. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm a bit more mature than the average, I suppose. Anyway, um, while I'm where I am in life, that's it. And when I saw the snake, I thought, oh, not again. I wish you to go away. But honestly, the snake is a very interesting card because you've got that fruit in the background and the snake, yes, it's that story that backs up to Adam and Eve, uh, you know, not the Adam and Eve, the snake and Eve, the devil and Eve, supposedly, and having that temptation put there. Well, yeah, I think it's more just a warning to be careful of what's around you. You never know when the surprise will pop out. You know, you, you're gathering your harvest, you're wanting to grab your fruit and the rest out of a tree and you have a, a tree snake jump out at you, you're going to be a bit freaked out, aren't you? Well, I would because it's the surprise of it. So I think the outcome in that respect for today is more meaning we've had him before, well, we've had him, it could be a her, we've had Snape before uh, in recent days and I think it's just shifting around its energy just to keep us on our toes and remind us we need to be aware of what's around us and be ready for some of those surprises and 
look, just take it in our calmness that, yeah, it's only a threat. It's not that it's actually attacking us, is it? It's just that surprise. It's just be wary. And that's what we're going to have. We're going to have that sort of a surprise probably today that will reveal, look, we can handle anything. Uh, and that's going to be the outcome. We have handled having that snake in our realms and, you know, not not sort of dropping into the temptation of uh, being conned or being being sucked in or, you know, take that bite or and, and you'll know everything and then be out of Eden. You know, all of that story, it's, it's the story of, weighing up what you actually um, want as your goal, you know, uh, because like for those who may not know what the um, snake and Eve, you know, th there was that knowledge she was given by biting, being tempted by the apple and she would know everything where they were in the Garden of Eden and didn't need anything else other than what was there. And she stepped out of that by being convinced by the snake to take that bite of the apple and then handing that to Adam. Hence being kicked out of paradise. That's a very rough summary of that story that is in the Bible. Uh, it's been one of those types of things where, you know, the, the creation or evolution theories, all of that sort of stuff. Take it as what you need and what you have it mean for you, though, because it's not just that. Yeah, for me, it really is being wary, being aware. And uh, we're going to have something revealed today that we actually did need to have that awareness around, and that's why it's in that outcome position. So pretty much as a <laughs> sorry, grab the apple. <laughs> oh, look, really, yes. <laughs> I think live life with what resources you need. The card's number, card number is 38, 39, 40. Oh, I, I hadn't even noticed that. Let me have a closer look. 38. Yep, <laughs> they are, Sammy. <laughs> They are the 38, 39, 40. Have a look. Oh, oh, whoops, show that up again. So 38, so cross your bridge. 39 is the dice. So as you're doing that, you're taking your steps, taking your risk, and you're putting on whichever hat mask you need for the day. That's another way of telling this story. I mean, with any of these, um, <laughs> is that why women are smarter than men? interesting question Scott um, I don't think there's any smarter than the other I think it's just used differently for different purposes and that's probably because of going back to what is our biological differences we are men and women and it's going to be that difference purely because of our physiological structure and what our instincts as the male and the female lead us toward. It is the providing protection for the men and the, oh, I'm doing that the wrong way, or am I? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter which side. Uh, effectively, for the esoteric purposes, the male strength and that tends to show up in the right side and the female strength in the left. So um, it's it really, <laughs> it's just that we are different. And is it, does it make us smarter than one another? No, we're using it for what we need to be as those um, genders. <laughs> so, uh, but I like your thought, women smarter than men. I'm sure we'd like to say so, but I don't believe so. <laughs> well, yes, Sammy, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Good pick. I hadn't noticed the numbers because I don't always look at the numerology. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Good morning to you. And we're all smart. Exactly. We are, Kirsten. And I love your little, yeah, your line of laughters. You know it. You know it. So um, those are the cards for the day. So what I like to remind people to do is just loosen your focus. And as you're looking at the photo, I've got the photo back on my own personal profile. So if you're a friend of mine, you probably do see that in my uh, timeline. Focus on the cards as a whole, and, uh, let your focus loosen and then when you bring it back to focus, just notice which card your eye goes to first and just use that as the meditation you have as your day, you know, that one being the focus and what other messages that brings to you. So... <laughs> And I says, sorry, I shouldn't laugh like that. That's not nice. <laughs> so, 
anyway, I will leave it at that. I've gone to the 20 minute mark. It's lovely being here doing these in the morning. I'm still really enjoying it. And wow, I haven't even taken note. What number of months have I been doing this? I know I started doing the absolute daily in March last year. So it's been going for longer than the year. And it's wonderful to be here joining you with this. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, and the laughs there, isn't it? It's lovely being here. Anyway, I'll, I'm not going to keep raving on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing it out that you've, you know, when you let people know that this is here, remind them that there is the replay. It doesn't have to be that you, you're here at the same time as I'm doing the live stream. It is available for replay in uh, the My Time, in, in the Ros Bounty page and in the Hypnosis Plus with Ros. And I do actually have it in my card reading group for those who are members of that. And it's just a free membership. You just look up Ros Boundy card reading group, I think. Um, I haven't been actively doing anything there except sharing this. Oh, I love you, Ros. Thank you, Sammy. I'm, I am going to have a great day. It's going to be a good day starting a new course. Not me. I'm being part of one today. So I'm looking forward to that. So we'll see you tomorrow about 8 o'clock, hopefully right on time. <laughs> for another card spread and lovely to be here be the best person that you can be in namaste now i've got to find the key there you go the, turn off there you go <laughs> oh i like that i'm going to show that we've got little comments this is the part i love because i can show your comments and how much it does mean to me to have that happening it's why it's a good platform we'll catch you later i'm raving <laughs> bye